Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful New Year celebration. And more importantly, I hope you're ready for another exciting year in food news with me, Phil Lempert, your supermarket guru. So let's get started with 2013 and see what's on Food News Today. We all know how important and healthy water is for our bodies, but what about tap water? According to a new study from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, the chemicals used to purify tap water may be causing food allergy rates to increase. Researchers tested the levels of dichlorophenols in more than 2,000 people and found that those with the highest levels were 80% more likely to have food allergies. These are the chemicals that are found in chlorine treated tap water and also used in pesticides on many fruits and vegetables. Researchers believe that our continued exposure to these chemicals may be killing off healthy bacteria in our gut. As Kenneth Speyer, an expert on environmental pollutants at North Shore University Hospital in Long Island, says that while this study does not conclude that pesticides are responsible for the allergies, it certainly raises the possibility. If you're planning on getting married this year, listen up to this story. And if you're looking for a really cool wedding location, get out a pen and paper. We found it for you. It's in Las Vegas, of course, but it's at Denny's, Denny's Wedding Chapel. Seriously, it's open for business now, and true Denny's fans will now be able to get married and hold their reception right inside the restaurant. How cool is that? Not. A variety of wedding packages are offered, from simple champagne and a pancake puppy's cake to a more formal full meal menu. I can only imagine what that would be. Cheeseburger and fries, maybe coleslaw on the side, but there'll also be a full bar and an interactive photo booth. Now, if this sounds like your dream wedding, please, please do not tell the person you're engaged to. But you're not alone. It sounds like there's actually a celebrity wedding in the works. I can only imagine that one of the stars from Jersey Shore is on the shortlist, but no details have been released. Hey, if you really want to, Book it now and get in while you still can. From meat pies to Vegemite, those Australians down under have come up with some great additions to our food world. But take a look. This one might be the best ever. It's a pineapple that tastes like a coconut. So for those pina colada lovers out there, making your favorite drink just got a whole lot easier. The Aus Festival pineapple was bred by researchers in the Department of Agriculture, and they hope to start planting the pineapples for commercial sale and for blending in pina coladas in the next two years. These researchers actually just set out to develop a pineapple that was sweet and low in acid, and the coconut flavor was merely accidental, but they may have hit the jackpot. A few weeks ago, I told you about Kellogg's, who's getting into the holiday spirit, and they ventured into the world of bizarro flavors, and they released those special holiday Pringles. Well, now they've got a competitor. It's PepsiCo, the parent company of Frito-Lay, who's taking a step in the same bizarro flavor direction. Get this, Pepsi-Cola chicken-flavored Lay's potato chips. Pepsi-Cola chicken-flavored Lay's potato chips. Now, don't rush out to your nearest supermarket. The good news is these chips are only being sold, for now anyway, in China. And over there, cola chicken is a very popular dish. So I guess that that flavor combination doesn't seem so strange. Now, it's still pretty strange. That's all for the first week's edition of Food News Today for 2013. Now, don't forget to check out our new website, supermarketguru.com, and send us a message on Facebook and Twitter. I'd love to hear from you and what you think about food. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you back here next week.